This is Twit. This is a capture of the screen which someone is presented when they've been unlucky enough to get Tesla Crypt installed. Uh, <laughs> um, this is like or, a crypto know. locker kind of, but for a specific... Well, it okay, so it is... It's like it's in very it's very much like CryptoLocker. In fact, it even borrows a little bit on the CryptoLocker brand by using a CryptoLocker.lnk link which it leaves on your desktop even though oh, that's uh, the guy the, the guys yeah, it's weird. Uh, sort of like they want to trade on the brand. The guys at Sophos have noted that the code is completely different. So in no way is this CryptoLocker. Oh. But what strikes me when I'm looking at this is how professional looking this has become. The first crypto locker was that annoying neon red amateurish sort of, it looked like it was just sort of thrown together at the last minute. This thing's got Tesla crypt in, a, in barcode across the top, and that's actually a legitimate barcode. Wow. So they took the time wow. to actually do, to do, wow. you know, if, you, if you notice the barcode above the T at the front and the back are the same. Um, no other letters in there repeat, so you can't you can't verify that further. But and 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 I mean, look at it. It's and what I love is just how cheeky this thing is. It says, <laughs> "All your by, oh by the way, all your important files are encrypted." It's like what? And then very clean looking text. Your Bitcoin address for payment is like this, and. Uh, at the moment, the cost for private key for decrypting your files will be 1.5 BTC, and they handily convert it into U.S. dollars. It's about 415 U.S. dollars at this point in March, and they uh, and so they they can accept payment for to do to you know to give you the benefit of their decryption of the files that they just stole from you essentially, uh, either by Bitcoin or by something called PaySafe card or uCash, although the cost for using either of those two, the non-Bitcoin choice, is higher. It's 400 pounds, which is around $600 US at this point. And as a final teaser, sort of as a, as a proof that they really can do this, they will decrypt one file for you to, to prove they can. So you could like, oh my God. And then when you sort of settle down and you think, okay, well, what one file must I really have? And they don't decrypt it on your system because that would subject their private key to capture. Instead, you upload the file to them. They use your private key, which only they have, to decrypt the file and then allow you to download it again in order to, in order to verify that they're able to do that. So this is what, we predicted on this podcast the first instant that CryptoLocker came out, the first one, because it was making too much money. Oh, and I, I, I should also say that it says here and here, parent verification may take up to 12 hours. And similarly, there is a time limit on your ability to do this. So basically, they've, they've, they're moving forward with this model of encrypt your files because it makes... Well, basically, it makes money. It, it They've taken something away from you in a way that you can pay to get it back. And unfortunately, many people do. What's different about this this latest version, this te te Tesla Crypt, although brand new code, so not apparently related to the, uh, to the others, is that as like the others, it will seek out photos, financial spreadsheets, office documents, and so forth. But in addition... It seeks out files related to dozens of games, including saved games, configurations, maps, and replays. It, it targets knows how valuable those are to some people. Exactly. Yeah. You have a major first-person investment in that yeah. stuff. Yeah. So it targets Call of Duty, World of Warcraft, Days, Minecraft, Fallout, and Diablo, wow. as well as configuration files for Steam, which is, of course, the online gaming platform. Um, and also, maybe because of the time of year, uh, looks for, for files related to tax returns and personal finance, such as Intuit's uh, Quicken software and uh, iTunes stuff. And it can now extend its reach into devices and drives connected by any means. Um, and it will encrypt the files out on those too. USB drives, network file shares, cloud storage folders, and other connected storage devices. 
So, you know, this is, I mean, this was foreseeable when we first saw the first one. And what was so troubling was that these guys had done the crypto right so that it was pay them or, or, or hopefully fall back on a backup and, and, and recover from the, the, the point of backup essentially. But, um, so this is, you know, the, the predictable evolution of, of this concept of encrypting your files. I, I think, unfortunately, Not it's, yeah. it's, it, it isn't exactly. It's the way of the future.